Hi, my name is Judy Kessinger. I'm the creator and the owner of the FitNice system. I designed this system to make your sewing easier. So let me show you how simple this is to do. We are going to make a princess line today. I'm going to show you how to make a princess pattern. I'm going to show you on a jacket, but I want you to keep in mind this can be converted to a t-shirt very easily. So if you want the princess lines there, it's a simple thing to do. You need to start with your master top pattern. If you don't own one, go to the website and you can purchase one. I promise you, you're going to have a blast with this because every single variation that you see on that website started right here. And it's the only pattern that you need to buy. So once you've purchased this and you open it up, and by the way, it comes with a DVD that walks you step by step by step on how to make this. So please make sure that you look through the DVD as well. This is what the pattern looks like. This is not anything that you have to tape together, you know, print out in little pieces and tape together. This is a full, let me open it up here, full size pattern. So there's the front and the back and there's the sleeve. On the other side of this pattern, you will find a dolman sleeve overlay, a facing, and some templates to cut your neckline. So very easy pattern to work with. Now, once you've made your pattern, you're gonna make it out of knit, by the way, because knit is the easiest fabric to work with. It's also the easiest fabric for you to fit yourself in. So once you've done that, uh, and you've taken it in, let's just say that you started with the largest size, you didn't need the largest size, and you kept taking it in for your comfort. We're into putting comfort into this. We want it to fit, but we want it comfortable. So once you've taken your garment in, go back and alter your pattern so your pattern matches the garment that you made. So mark it master pattern. Do you see that I've got master knit written in great big letters on this? Because you're never going to cut this up. This is your pattern for all the variations that you're going to make. You'll make a new pattern, but this is your master, so we're not gonna cut this up. Now, what else do you need to make your princess? You need the directions. This is on variation one, has princess jackets. Print up the directions so you can follow through with that. You need patternies. Patternies is a wonderful product that I sell on my website because you can see through it, so it's easy to work with. You need markers, and I would suggest you get three different markers. This makes your life a lot easier, three different colored markers. Now, I've taken a yardstick and made it, made it not a yard. <laughs> I've cut it, actually cut it off. Uh, it's a little bit easier to work with when you're in small spaces. You don't need 36 inches, so you can use a smaller one. Just saw it off, it's fine. Just don't tell anybody you sawed it off. Then you need a good pair of scissors. I like Kai scissors. Kai scissors cut beautifully, so I suggest you use those. Can you use a rotary cutter? Absolutely you can use a rotary cutter. We have this set up so that we're filming, so we're filming on blue. At home when I work, I have a mat, a cutting mat, and I do use my rotary cutter all the time. But today we're gonna use the scissors. So let's get started. The jacket I have on is a silk blend fabric and it has a princess line. It's probably a little bit harder for you to see, but you can see how nicely this garment hangs. This is an easier one for you to see. Believe it or not, the top of this jacket is leather and the bottom of this jacket is knit. It's Sophia knit, the one I love the best. If you want to purchase Sophia knit, please go to my website, go all the way to the bottom of the home page, and there will be a little picture that you can click on. It takes you directly to Vogue Fabrics. They sell Sophia Knit in 30 different colors. So you can see a little bit more of the princess line here because I've actually inserted zippers into the princess line just to give this a little bit more detail. So you can see you've got a really pretty jacket. On this jacket, you can see the princess line as well because it actually goes up into the armhole and I've done it in two different colors. Again, on this one, I've also done it in two different colors to show you the princess line to make it show up just a little bit better. But you're gonna love doing this garment. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make the pattern for the princess, but I wanna make sure that you understand this is your master sleeve this is your master top. You are not gonna cut these up. You're gonna make another one. 
and you're going to put it, I like to put mine in a plastic bag and then mark it whatever garment that I'm doing. So just make sure that you keep track of it that way. So we're going to use the master pattern. I'm only going to do the front because I like to do just the front in a princess. I like the back as a whole, but that's totally up to you. You do the back exactly the same way. So this is my sleeve that's going to go for anything I want to do. Now remember this is a knit. So if you take this garment into, a, if you want to make a princess woven, you need to add to the side seams. And if you go back to your master pattern, the directions are in there on how to take this knit pattern into a woven. And it's very simple to do. So I'm just going to work with a basic pattern right now. And I've made another front. So this is my front, it matches that master pattern, and I'm gonna start with the princess. Now, this is Matilda. Matilda is my dress form, and I love my dress form. And I love draping fabric on the dress form. I like backing up to see what the print looks like. I love everything there is about a dress form. But right now, we don't want a dress form. We want you, we want you in front of a mirror. You're going to take this pattern, and you're going to hold it up to you and you're going to line up the center front. Can you see I've got that lined up? Now what I need to know is where the girls are. <laughs> and so I'm going to take a pin. Guess what? You can feel this. You don't need anybody else to do this to you. You can do it yourself and you can make a little circle. So that's your girl. Okay? That's your bust. So that's your bust point. Everything in the princess is done on that bust point. So let me show you how we're going to do this. I'm going to show you three different lines that you can draw as a princess. I'm going to do one for the serger uh, blouse that we're going to do later. I'm going to do one into the sleeve in case you want to do something sleeveless then you can make this tighter. And then I'm going to do the one that I showed you that went up into the armhole that gave you just a little bit more pizzazz. So since I know where this bust point is, I'm going to measure from the center front to the bust point. Now, I want you to keep in mind that if you are doing a jacket, you would add to the center, but it tells you in each of the variations how much to add. I'm just showing you how to make a basic princess. So I can see that this is five and a fourth inches in from that center line. So I'm going to go five and a fourth and make a mark and five and a fourth and make a mark, five and a fourth and make a mark. See how hard this is? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. So I'm going to draw this line straight through like this. And this is one princess line. Then I'm going to show you a different one. So that's one princess line. Here's a different princess line. This would go into the armhole. Again, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, do it in pencil first, and then you can always go back and go over the top of it. Again, I need that, I need that bust point. That is the most important thing. So I'm going to go about halfway into the armhole, and I'm going to make another line that goes down just like that. So that's your second princess line. Isn't this hard? Let me show you your third princess line. I'm going to go up further into the armhole because I want more color to show. And again, I need to cross that bus line. So there's three different princess lines. Very, very simple to do. Now, I'm just going to do one of these for you real quick and show you. I'm going to do the one into the armhole. So I'm going to cut on that line. If, you're, if you want to make all three of these, I would suggest you make a pattern for all three of them because in just a second, you're going to see what I'm going to do. So let's cut up this one like this, and I'm going to go into the armhole like this, all right? And this is kind of what you're seeing here. This is more of a straighter line, but if you were going into the armhole, it would go out like this and cover your bust. Now, one of the reasons I like this one, if you ever make anything that's sleeveless, you can make it tighter right here at the armhole, okay? Because that's the part that you all want to put a dart in. So can you see this becomes your dart? You know where the bust line is, this becomes your dart. So let's separate these two pieces like this. I've taken a scrap of my patternese. I'm going to lay it on top like this. I'm 
I'm going to have to piece this one, but you don't care. Piecing is fine. That's what they made scotch tape for. You need a seam allowance. So that's what I'm going to put in here. So we're going to tape all of this together like this. And don't use little bitty pieces. Just get you a big piece of scotch tape. Tape all this down like this. Now you've got your line, so you can see where that line is. Take your yardstick, your ruler, whatever you want to use, and I'm going to mark a half an inch because that is my seam allowance. If you've worked with any of these variations very much, I'm sure you've figured out very quickly that all of the seam allowances are a half an inch on the top. I just tried to make it easy. reason I used a half an inch, quarter inch is really hard to keep straight, and five-eighths is too much, especially when you go into an angle like this. So I'm going to draw this just like this and connect the dots. I bet you did that when you were a kid. You just connected the dots like that. Then I'm going to cut on that line and I'm going to mark on this side front. So let's throw this away and this is my side front. Is it knit? Right knit on there. Is it woven? Right woven on there. So this would be my side front, okay? Now I have to add a half an inch seam allowance to this as well. So let's do this. And scotch tape this down. Now a lot of people ask me about grain line. Let me show you where your grain line is. It's your center front. That's your straight grain line. So if you, you want to draw something else on there, another line on there, that's fine. But that is your grain line. So if you line this up with your grain, you've got it. So now I've got that scotch tape down. Again, I'm going to mark with a half inch seam. Isn't this hard? Just mark it all the way down with your half inch. Like this. Play connect the dots. Now once you make one princess, you're going to see where you go in and where you would like it a little more tailored. This is a great garment to tailor because if you happen to have a tiny waist, you can take it in more in the waist area than you do in the bust. If you happen to have tiny hips, you can take it in more in the hip area than you do in the bust. So it gives you lots of places to take in a garment to make it more fitted. Now, one of the reasons that I love Sophia fabric, the knit Sophia fabric, is you are able to tailor it. Believe it or not, you can tailor it, especially when you put French fuse on the back side, like I have put on this jacket. And when I say tailor it, I mean you can take this in a little bit more and make it just a little snugger because the knit is a good knit. So let me show you when I put these two together. There's your princess line. It's as easy as that. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you've seen how simple and easy this system is to work with. All of the products you've seen in the video are available on my website or a link on my website. Please make sure while you're there to check out the classes to see where I am. Join me on Facebook under Fit Nice and be sure to join the Fit Club. Thank you.